Check this. I check in all of the We leave the situationships in 2019. Yeah, bro. Can we leave them non-bulletproof, bulletproof vests <laughs> in 2019? <laughs> I like my cellulite. Girl, I thought she was like, and booty's getting better, else. baby. If anyone decides to disturb my peace in 2020, I will get my first love to shoot you. <laughs> Let's leave those Popeye's chicken sandwiches in 2019. So if you're watching this video and you're not, you're not subscribed, Hey hey guys and welcome back to life with Lexi Lou today we <laughs> want to do a video called cheers to the new year how to make 2020 a good one today I have my friends with me I have joy and I have Kristen so I'm gonna let them introduce themselves I'm joy I'm a chemistry major and I <coughs> attend Tuskegee University I am Kristen I'm from Birmingham Alabama I'm a psychologist. I'm a psychology because I'm over it. Ready to go. I'm a psychology and social work. No, psychology major, social work minor. So now we're gonna talk about New Year's resolutions and what we think about them personally. I feel like it's important that everyone write down New Year's resolutions going into a brand new year because you want to make sure that you're setting your intentions and your goals. When I write down my New Year's resolutions, I write them down, but I also write a plan to go with it. So I'll say, hey, I want to do this, and then I will write in detail how I'm going to do this, why I want to do this, and what you know steps I'm going to take in order to achieve my resolution. So with New Year's resolution, I feel like saying like a resolution is so like cliche. So I practice making promises to myself um, for for that year, and I do feel like it's very important because I did I actually stuck to my promises in 2019. Very proud. I actually stuck to my promises. Yeah. In <laughs> I lost my resolutions from 2019. I was I like, let me go working. see what I meant. <laughs> lost them. All of my New Year promises are personal development, personal development, or have something to deal with personal um, mm -hmm. development. So the things that I notice um, from the past year, I try to fix fix whatever it was that um, that was, I guess, toxic for my health and my mental and spiritual well-being. <laughs> for me, New Year's resolutions are important because how like I feel like every year you need to grow. You do not need to go into the next year the same you as you were the year before. Like that means you did not do something right. It's time to grow. It's time to, to elevate. Grow. Grow. My um, personal um, New Year's promise is <laughs> to relearn myself. So, like I said before, um, most of my, well, all of my promises lately have been geared towards personal development, not really as far as what I want to do in the natural world, but what I want to focus on spiritualized saying like if you take care of your spirit in turn your spirit takes care of your mind it takes care of your body it takes care of the physical the mental right there to joy put this in your notes put this in your notes that's right make sure you write this one down let's go let's go right here <laughs> and that's why i gear everything towards um personal development sorry <laughs> you crying <laughs> you Oh no, I burped. Um, mine is fitness related. I know it sounds so cliche, but I have the drive to go to the gym and stay in the gym, and I am. Um, I actually enjoy going to the gym. The problem is, it takes it's something small to like deter me from going to the gym again. I like my cellulite. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the gym a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But you need to be firm in some areas. Like so, this year I really, really want to stick to the goal um, that I have for my body and like see it through all the way through because it really sucks when you look back at those pictures like, like dang, it was fine, and then you look down at your stomach like, dang. Not One of my resolutions for this year um, is to read twelve books. So I want to read at least twelve books this year. 
Another one of mine is to grow my YouTube. I want to make sure Kid, that who? my YouTube grows. I want to grow as an influencer. Like, I have a goal of getting at least 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And it's, yeah, it's going to happen. It may be far fetched, but it's not that far fetched. Like, I'm going to do that goal, whatever. Well, we're going to show y'all our vision boards because we just took all of our goals for this year and made them into cute little vision boards. So, I'm going to show y'all our. Vision board. What we did with our vision boards, I was watching a YouTube video. Basically, the girl, when I figure out her name, because I forgot it, she was basically saying that instead of just doing a basic vision board where she just put little quotes on there, things that you know sound good or whatever, she made sure that her vision board was very intentional, just like her goals for the year were intentional. So we made sure that our vision boards embody everything that we wanted to see manifest in this year. Julian, what's <laughs> but what is like the one thing on your vision board that you like? Yeah, I gotta do that. Okay. So my vision board is not really a stuff that I have to do. So like I say, <laughs> my goal for 2020 is relearning myself. So I have the like 2020 and then I have I am. So it's just affirming everything that I know that I am or that I will be. What advice do y'all have for people who are trying to set goals for the new year and like the advice that you would give somebody to obtain those goals and to achieve their goals for this year? Do it. Just do it. Don't think about it. Or think about it. Take it back. Think about it. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then do it. You miss a hundred percent of the chances you don't take. If it's your dream, if it's your goal, do it. Take this seriously. Do it. Invest in your future. Believe in yourself like you believe in all these celebrities and all these people that you don't even know. I would say make sure that you write everything down. Writing things down is very important when you're trying to goal set because you can go back and look at the things that you want to happen. That's why I have my journal. The last time I wrote a journal, my family stole it and read all my stuff, so. If somebody can read all over my mind. stuff, then. <laughs> My journal. They probably won't put me in a crazy house, but like something is wrong with her. Mm -hmm. They just go. Like she's a killer. <laughs> a wow, a murderer. <laughs> Cause I killed all y'all. They murdered. Okay, well, what? What is? <laughs> One thing I can say as far as with setting goals, I have always been a visual person. So if I didn't see myself doing it or I couldn't envision myself doing it i was gonna leave it where it is you know like so being realistic yeah like it's always great to always have a vision even after you obtain the goal what are your expectations for 2020 my expectations um for 2020 are for me they're all for me to just uh actually see through with all the goals that i set for when you set goals, the only thing stopping you from achieving those goals is nine times out of ten, it's probably yourself. You! <laughs> I just feel like by November of this year, I need to be like, if not, the goals need to be either done or like almost done. Like I need to be where I want to be. Me personally, I'm kind of like a, you know, whatever happens, happens. If it doesn't <laughs> The only thing I can expect out of 2020 is what God has preordained for my life. All I want is good health and goodwill. Do you feel me? <laughs> but let's say this year we're gonna speak intentional things too. Mm. Right, we're going to walk through life as if it has our, the things that we want are already here. What are we leaving? Him. We leaving oh. him in 2019, y'all. Yeah, he was supposed to be going in 2018, but he's still here. So leave him in 2019. Don't even tell him you left him. Exactly. Just leave. He doesn't have to know. Everyone oh. has their own journey. Ooh, so. the biggest lesson that I have learned, and it was TJ said it, your life is like a movie. And you know how in a movie, you have people that make up the story. Some of them you might see only in the beginning. Some of them are extras you see in the background. Some of them you see all the way to the end. But regardless, they make the story the story. So sometimes 
you just needed that character to make that scene make sense. Remember that people sometimes are in your life for a season. They are a part of your journey. They don't have to be a part of the end result. We're leaving negative thinking. We're leaving comparing ourselves to others. We are leaving, you know, self-doubt in 2019. What are you leaving in 2019? <laughs> do have some traits that are not like healthy. I, yeah that are not healthy i can be very manipulative i can control you know what they think and it's not my job to make them feel a certain type of way for my benefit it's not right to do that we leave the situationships in 2019. Yeah, bro. If it's not a real relationship or it's either something or nothing at this point, like I, it's so much fun. <laughs> That's a video for another time because I'm not getting married until like I'm 32. <coughs> All right, <laughs> I've dealt with situationships. Shade. My. <laughs> it was, that wasn't shade. It was. No, I'm because he's watching the video. Like, oh my god. He's like, <laughs> no, he's so. Like, can we leave them non-bulletproof bulletproof vests in 2019? <laughs> Let's leave fat yeah. bags. Yeah. Why would you leave fat bags in 2005? Somebody answer me. I am leaving fear and pork. I'm gonna try to leave pork. Worrying is my biggest thing. I'm leaving worrying. Excessive worrying. I'm leaving excessive worrying in 2019. Let's leave those Popeye's chicken sandwiches in 2019. That's all we have for today's video. Do you all have any final thoughts? This is gonna be a great year. We're living an intentional year. We are speaking intentional things. Mm -hmm. Something's I getting thought flatter she was and booty's getting better, baby. If anyone decides to disturb my peace in 2020, I will get my first love to shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, same. <laughs> Thank you all for tuning into this video. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Remember that this year is going to be full of joy, peace, and happiness. And we all hope that you have an amazing 2020. You know, let us know how you felt about this video and make sure that you share it with your friends. Yay. Thumbs up, like, subscribe.